there's a dog barking right now, so bear with me. Alright guys, so here's the deal. Um, I'm in a lot of trans support groups. I'm in a lot of FTM kind of support um, communities that are across Facebook. There's tons of them. And a lot of them that I'm in, um, I keep seeing a lot of people posting their pictures and videos and stuff and saying, you know, hey, do I pass? Um, am I passing as male? I want to make sure that I note to you guys that like I remember being in that situation I remember like hoping that I pass and like trying to find ways that I could pass better I just want to give you guys a little bit of advice about how I felt back then um, compared to what I know now I kind of just have a little bit of issue with people constantly posting these do I pass do I pass do I pass and it seems like these in all of these community groups and all these support groups are being just filled with do I pass posts and if you are a part of these communities you know what I'm talking about a lot of people are posting these like posting their selfies and like asking people if they pass and some people are like heck yeah you pass so without even looking at the picture and then the other ones are like no you don't pass but here's what you can do to pass and I guess I just kind of have a little bit of an issue with this because you need to be confident in yourself and who you are if you're confident in who you are and you know you're a man and that's enough I understand the struggle of wanting people to automatically use male pronouns 100% I understand that I remember being there I remember looking back and looking around and making sure my shirt was flat just enough and making sure that my I was dropping my voice when I was talking to other people in person, shaking their hands, like doing that kind of thing really, really deep and, and kind of just talking that way and, and portraying myself in a way that I knew people would use the correct pronouns. And at the same time, as much as I understand that, do what you gotta do to be confident, but I wouldn't focus it so much about what the other people are thinking of you, right? You need to think about how you feel, and if you feel confident, and you feel like, damn, I look good today, and you look in the mirror, and you're like, yes, you know, like, if that's how you feel, then you need to just own it. And if people use the wrong pronouns, then they'll use the pro wrong pronouns, and I know it sounds scary and intimidating uh, to correct people's pronouns, and I didn't correct people's pronouns for a very long time. I, uh, especially when I was first figuring it out, and first in the beginning stages, I didn't, pr I didn't correct them, because I thought it was just gonna be too awkward. Um, but I did it through humor, so if people would be like, hey, you know, she just said this, and I said, who said that? Who said that? And I would kind of make them like rethink of it, rethink it and be like, um, oh, you mean he? Or like, you know, like, oh, you meant to say he, right? I kind of showed it in a way where they understood what I was saying, but they were kind of able to laugh it with, laugh it off with me and still kind of understand what I was saying. And sometimes they would do it again, and I'd do the same thing again, and I would keep doing it until they fixed it. Even if I was laughing and joking around with them the whole time, I wouldn't let it go. So I just, I just want to make this post just real quick so you guys know kind of what I went through, um, my mindset about it, and kind of looking back now, there's tons of videos on how to pass, how to put, you know, makeup beards on, and, and you know, how to contour your chest or tape and stuff like that, and like a lot of those things are great if that's what you're using to personally feel better and personally feel that confidence when you look in the mirror, that's awesome. I just think we need to focus on ourselves and focus less about how other people perceive me, and I know that's easy for me to say because I'm on testosterone, I've got facial hair. If you're watching this right now and you're struggling with passing, and you're wanting people to use the correct pronouns. I 100% empathize with you. I remember what that's like, but at the same time, don't go to other people trying to ask, you know, what can I do to pass? But like, you need to just focus on your confidence and who you are as a person and focus on that internal part first. So that way you can correct people and when you correct people, it's not as intimidating because you know 100% who you are and how you feel about yourself. So this is just a quick video. This Saturday, I'm dropping a big, big, big one-year project. I really want you guys to check it out. I'm spending a whole day filming it, whole day editing it, probably more than that. Um, and I just really encourage you guys to check that out. It's really big to me, it matters a lot to me. If you're new to the channel, I created this channel to reach out to other trans people and help them along their journey. Um, and also show other people what it's like to be transgender in today's society, especially in the South, because I'm in Tennessee. If you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate you watching this. Go ahead and subscribe if you liked it. Like this video if you like it. And if if you have some questions, if you have some comments that maybe you disagree with me, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to have some conversation with you. I'd love to interact and have some dialogue about what you think uh, and how I can help you and maybe how you can help me. So thank you for watching this and I will catch you guys later. You're amazing. You're loved. You're valid. You are you and that's what matters. I love you guys. Thank you and I will see you guys on Saturday. Big, big day.